What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Just a quick one today. We are going to be looking ahead as to what is coming Monday. So we do know that we are going to be getting new national attackers. We'll get into them in just a second. But also, we do know that we're into now the crunch period of the game, right? So for these objectives, the match pass, all of that stuff here, that is going to be over the 12th. So we're into September now. We've got 11 days to go before we get the brand new update, which will be eFootball v4.0 or just simply eFootball. So once that happens, we're probably going to be getting a lot of new stuff. And that will tie in with this campaign as well. So you can see here that you've got this campaign ongoing for another 10, 11 days. And that's also going to be tied to the objectives, the match pass and the eFootball League, right? So on to today's cards. Well, we're going to actually do a video, a separate video on Legends yet to be released, right? And why I think they'll be held off till eFootball 25. But for now, we know that this is going to be ongoing till Thursday. But the Italian League midfielders are going to be gone, right? So I'm going to go over here to eFootball DB. And we are going to show you. So these are the legends that are going to be coming on uh, Monday, which is tomorrow. The National Attackers Epic Pack. It's going to be phenomenal finishing in Zaggy, from what we know. You're going to have Spain's Raul. And of course, you're going to have Stoichkovic as well. Now, these are part of this pack here that you see over on eFootball DB. They're up on the database. You've got this selection here, which is National Attacker Selection. So you've got Pedro Neto who's obviously just after getting a brand new move to Chelsea. You've got a couple in here that I think will be fairly decent. Quintero's pretty decent. Uh, Jordan Ayew is there, as well as Mbolo. Uh, there's a couple of nice cards in here, but obviously, honestly, boys, I really do feel that like the, the good, good cards aren't going to come until eFootball 25, or as it's known now, just simply eFootball. I keep calling it eFootball 25. But when we know that these are coming, we also know that they're going to be tied in by the updated legends. So these legends get updated stats, and they get updated... Pretty much everything. They get updated everything. Like So their, their levels are not finalized until the actual um, game. You know, the, the game goes live on Monday. Um, but we are going to take a look at the cards here, right? So these are the cards and their stats. And obviously, you've got a couple of things to figure out here as well um, with these. But we do have over on eFootballDB here, we do have the cards. So we're going to look at Inzaghi first, then Raul, and then Stoichkovic. Inzaghi is going to be down as a goal poacher, it looks like. His levels are not finalized yet, but he'll definitely have at least 29, 30 levels. And obviously with the manager boost as well, he's going to have some nice beastly stats, right? Now, Inzaghi is all about getting into the box, scoring goals, simple tap-ins, and just being an all-round, non-elusive, non-kind of like dribble-centric player, right? Um, player skills and all that will be updated as well as he comes out. But I do feel as if that this card could be could be quite solid. I mean, even if you pop 10 into his dexterity here and 10 into his lower body, you're pretty much going to have 90 speed, 90 acceleration, uh, 84, 85 balance. And of course, it's going to be all about getting that offensive awareness up as high as possible. The rest of his stats are going to probably come from the from you know just him being an all-rounder, the same as all in Zaggy cards. That's going to be the same with Raul, right? So his manager bonus here, obviously it's going to be different depending on how you train him up, but depending on his levels, you'll probably be able to get Raul with that balance type possession and acceleration all into the 90s, which is nice depending on his levels. And also as well with Inzaghi, of course, he's going to have the phenomenal finishing that'll be updated here, as you see here. Phenomenal finishing looks like that's going to be part of his makeup there. And then Stoichkovic, right? So Stoichkovic here as a classic number 10, with the manager boost on his base forms, with just giving a plus three or plus two to the managers, depending on what stats or what way you're going to train him up. Uh, you will be getting, you know, tight possession and acceleration and speed, all pretty decent. His ball control is pretty decent as well. Now, I will say that Stoichkovic has definitely been a card that a lot of people have slept on, the same way with Raul. Raul is definitely a great finisher. I haven't really played with him enough. Um... But I do feel that, that he could be good. And he's got some good player skills as well. You know, double touch, flip, flap, soul control. If these are going to be what his card is made up of, it's it's going to be a very decent card. I do still feel, though, that Inzaghi will probably be the pick of him. I loved Inzaghi in my free-to-play kind of road to glory style um, one. And, and shout out as well to Buddy J for this mock-up uh, over on Twitter. And of course, as well as that CTE football as well, um, who's over on Twitter as well. But... Yeah, I do feel as if that there is a lot of legends yet to be unreleased. And we're going to do a full video on these and why I think that they won't come. As I said, CTE football there with this graphic here. But I do feel with this pack, Inzaghi is going to be the main man. Genuinely, I think he's going to be the main man. 
The next video that we do is going to be coming up. We're going to be talking about unreleased legends, right? Um, because I do feel that they are going to probably hold off on the unreleased legends and they'll probably bring them, you know, closer to eFootball's new V4.0 update. So let me know what you guys think. I mean, at this stage, man, you know, we are spinning a good bit. Obviously, when you get donations and whatever, um, as a streamer, we do spin. And there is a lot of good players being released. But I just feel that they're going to release way better cards with eFootball. They have to, because all of these cards now, they're just, the market is awash with so many similar cards. You've got like 20 plus hole players, 20 plus running gun center forwards, you know, in different versions of them, like 10 versions of Mbappe are very similar. So I do think that they're going to switch it up a bit, but let me know what you guys think. I'll be back streaming on Monday. Hope to see you in the stream and we'll talk to you then. Don't forget to subscribe. We're on the road to 50k, baby. Talk to you in a bit. Peace.